All right, so a couple months ago, um, I actually pulled this trans apart. Um, and here's the footage from that. Hopefully it's edited out and it's pretty decent. And then we'll stick for stick. If you stay till the end or want to skip through, um, I did want to get more of this assembly. So there's not really that much, but I'll go over a couple things if you want to check it out. I'll see you at the end. All right. Let's take a look at this. Wow. There are spiders all over the place. Yep. And there we go. I've seen a whole bunch of blocks with this busted off of here. That's pretty normal. Should have expected to see that. <laughs> oh. Look at that. <laughs> All kinds of stuff in there. Let's see here. Oh, hammer, hammer, hammer. <clears throat> I'm sure it's sitting right here and I just don't know where it's at. There we go. Just kind of cleaned that out a little bit. You can see it's cracked all the way over to here. We got a nice crack here. Like I said, that's busted off. Um, what I'll do is I'll. Oh, spins over. We'll get this thing tore apart first thing tomorrow morning. <sighs> Strip this thing down. Get rid of the junk. I'm sure that's the stock clutch, yep. This is, has a lot of wear. Let's just pull this off here. We can get it to come. Ooh. Hold on here. We need something. Pull this apart. <clears throat> I'm never, never prepared, but this is the way you want to get them. Pop that. This is just how I do it. And then you can pull them off. Nope. Oh. Little eight legged friend in there. Man, like this is stuck in here. There we go. Yep. Lots of wear on our clutch fork. So, this is probably the original one. Um, you know, we'll have to take a look at this when we get it out, see if we see any tweaking in there um i mean the car did have a sec uh, stage two kit on it but there we go um it's a part all right so basically i'm finally getting back to getting a chance to touch this i've already pulled off the um speedometer housing uh, i wanted to double check the spacer that was on here um like i said everything's tore apart i did remove the shift selector uh, take a look down in here um, now let's get this diff cover off of here all right hopefully I got all the tools in there so I'm going to lay this here hopefully it holds it up there we go all right now let's see if this thing took apart Not too often these things come out unscathed. Three little pieces there. I'll have to grab that socket.
So it's next day. Let's get this thing out of here. I've been messing around way too long. I'm gonna get uh, this dirt off of here. Get in here. Uh, I'm gonna have to look over everything, get everything good and cleaned up, make sure stuff's all right. There was a couple pieces that did get down in here from the, um, yeah, just, the implosion of the case which I think mine actually bent out just a little bit too I'm sure we could straighten that one out most of the time people get in here and they they claw these up that one actually looks pretty good all right so I mean that's pretty much that All right, both uh, snap rings eventually did come off. Now, we have everything apart here. Um, we need to remove this one here. See if I got it, yep, right there. Well, this one here is for reverse. Not something you want to come loose. Plenty of Loctite on there, as always. I'm gonna get something to set this gear set on. Got a piece of cardboard right here. And let's pull this thing out of here. Kind of nice to finally pull a nice looking gear set out on a trans for once so there's a couple more parts that need to come off of the transmission housing itself uh, before we're gonna call it complete garbage I'm gonna press out uh, the input shaft bearing there um, I don't think there's any way to get the race out for the other one for this side here it actually don't look too bad I know I was gonna have to say it looks like nothing no grinding on any of these gears that's definitely awesome so like I said this is where we're at we'll just check this stuff out I mean the third gear fork looks like it has very minimal wear I mean this is an older transmission it's been sitting for a long time this, this is out of that car that's been sitting for 10 years uh since it was wrecked so very minimal wear you know some guys say that this is twist this car was completely stock stock clutch you know I still trust that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. But we can definitely see how bad this thing was. Um, over here, this is just going to be pretty simple. Um, I'm going to pull, obviously, this stuff off of here. Get that stuff out of the way. And there's two bolts here. And then we'll press this out. And then this housing here is pretty much, uh, pretty much garbage, along with the diff cover. Right down there, you can see some of the pieces that I actually got inside. Here was a couple of them. Like I said, I'm gonna inspect everything, but you know, everything still, you know what I mean? Doesn't look bad. There's a little bit of dirt and contaminants on this one that fell in. Um, you know, your input shaft has a little bit of rust, but everything else in here, from what I can see right now, actually looks pretty good. So like I said, the plan is to pull this out of this housing I have other housings back there that were bad or had a broken snapped off main shaft. We pulled everything apart, just shift the ship, uh, stripped them down, and uh, yeah.
<laughs> so we're gonna actually reinstall it into one. <sighs> All right, so that was pretty much just pulling that transmission apart. Um, I don't really know what to say because I didn't watch the footage, but I did that quite a few months ago. Um, I did want to get some more uh, footage of actually assembling this thing, but I just got into it yesterday and went to town. So basically every, this is another case because that case was damaged um, with the diff cover that was busted. Um, that one actually had the front busted there on the case. So <clears throat> what I have going on here is I actually, this case here, I believe had a broken input shaft. So I um, stripped this out a while ago and I basically just put this in my parts washer. Um, I cleaned it down, double checked everything. Um, you know, everything seemed to look pretty good. Um, I cleaned off the gear set before I installed it. Um, down inside, any of those places where um, where bearings go or um, where the, the shift rods go, I just put a little bit of grease. Um, and then your reverse gear bolt, um, just put a little bit of blue Loctite on there because that's on there. Um, I'm using uh, the anaerobic gasket maker so you can see that it's on here that's what i use to reseal everything i still have to because i had to put a uh i had to press out and put in the input shaft um bearing retainer because i actually took this one out and sold this sold the one that was in this case to somebody um so there's my two snap rings that that will hold these bearings in place um there's the back side of the um this one here jeez see this stuff's like anti -seize. You touch it, it gets everywhere. So this one here was the one that came off the transmission. I had one that did not want to come out. Um, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I have other side cases, so it's no big deal. This one did even actually have this reverse light switch busted. So I have to remove this drain, and I'm going to pull this plastic piece out. Just put it off to the side because it's a good part, and that's I'm just going to chuck that on my, my aluminum pile because I don't really need... The side cover because I have a couple of those. Um, like I said, I cleaned these down. Um, here is the spacer that goes on here. All right, and then there's the, the oil slinger. Uh, it looks like somebody caught it a little bit at one time. That was in that trans. So that's there. <coughs> uh, ta -ta -ta. These ones here, I'll have to put some blue Loctite on because they have it. Those, I guess they used whatever that. Uh, sealer was at one time, which I, I just don't have it anymore um, And then I got to figure out which where these bolts go, which will be pretty easy um, What else what else what else we got? Um, everything's tightened down here on that like I said, I got to get uh, I'll probably take some of this extra and put it up here and I'll use it um, I'm almost out of this tube um, pretty much it takes about a tube of this to almost do a trance um, Usually depending on how you do it. You have some left over and then I'll have to get a shift selector out, put a shift selector on. I mean, if you could tell, we got a couple transmissions still sitting around. Um, that one's supposed to be a built one. That one supposedly has third gear problems. I don't know. I was told maybe. Who knows? And then the other one that's behind the, uh, man, behind the engine hoist there has some issues also. And then that's just a 350Z motor that's sitting out here over the way. So... Right now, I need to get that side cover with the oil things that actually feed down into here. I've got to get that cleaned up, um, get all of the gasket material off of it. Right here, I'll get it cleaned up. And uh, i got to get those snap rings in. I use, I wouldn't say snap rings because a snap ring tool actually has the little pins okay so we don't have those pins um i have a tool like this it spreads it um if you look it has this here that's so i can sit this down in here like this and spread it and you can reach it when it's recessed so that's what this tool's for i'm not sure what the name of it is exactly i bought this for doing four-wheel drive stuff but like i said as a disclaimer i'm no transmission person um, this is going to be the second one I'm sealing up. The last one I did in that black car, everything worked out great. So, but it's nice to finally use up some of that 
some of that other footage. So I'm going to finish getting this thing together, uh, get that stuff cleaned up. These are definitely a pain in the neck to get put in. There's a little bit of play from side to side. So basically what I do is I just get in there and push up on them a little bit. And then you can get them the snap rings down in onto them. So we, be, we will be wiping everything down. Um, wire brush. Okay. Um, like I said, I, everything was cleaned. Um, I try not to, with aluminum, I try not to hit it too hard. We can see our diff case. And then everything else is pretty much done and out of the way. And then we can write this, write this transmission up as one that needs to be tested because um, the gear set did come out of a 2004 uh, like I said uh, it sat for a long time everything looked good on it um, it did have a little bit of wear on the fork area more than the last transmission but still um, should still be a plenty usable transmission all right well you know how that goes you start assembling stuff and you get it together Next thing you know, you got a transmission that needs tested out. I did dump, I had some, a little bit of transmission fluid, but I just dumped a little bit of oil down in there to get it over top of all the gears and kind of spin it through just to get oil on everything throughout the transmission. Just because it's been sitting so long with nothing, nothing done to it. Now I just got to get this mess cleaned up, which I'm almost done with. And well... Get something to try this in and maybe some of these other transmissions when the time comes.